What's up? This is Quentin with Q's Tips. So, keep wanting to get this sub installed with the factory bows, but Florida weather has won once again. So, GoPro didn't charge last night, and <laughs> so decided to mow the grass in the morning, and now we got this unit up here. So after sitting down and having a business popsicle with the colleagues, you know, we've decided it's probably not going to rain, so we're going to go ahead and start the project. Alright, so the weather seems to be a little better, but let's get to the basics. You can probably look this up anywhere, but the front there is a 15. And the rear is 11 millimeter. So I know all the 10 millimeter puns. I use probably 11 millimeter more than I use a damn 10. So, but yeah, as you can see, your standard 12 point socket will take that out. You're supposed to have inverted torques, but yeah, you don't have to. So, but yeah, put this on time lapse. Let's go. All right, so a quick tip for removing the seats. Um, if you actually leave this plugged in and then scoot it back to the middle, they're like extremely easy to remove. And then you just unplug that and all the tracks are slide together. So we don't destroy your interior. But this console is extremely easy to remove as well. You basically just have to take the seats out because these brackets pop this guy out. And you just have to unplug that main harness right there. And then there will be two plugs behind here. It'll come out. Yeah, just eat it that hard. <laughs> but there's two little bolts right there. Pretty simple. So as you can see here, it just pops right out. I had a little bit of a extra hassle because I had to pull the radio to get my USB link that I installed to make it look a lot cleaner. So y'all probably want to do that. This is the guy we're after. So if you talk to anybody, you know they tell you Bose is junk and it does no good, and a lot of people talk crap about it, but. I like Bose. Um, obviously, these systems are pretty old. They're doing a lot with a lot less. Um, I'm assuming this is too ohm, but we're gonna find out. I kind of guess since everything else in the doors was too ohm. Um, I didn't find a lot of information on this stuff. That's why I kind of wanted to document it, so that way you know, we can learn as we go. But this is what I picked out here. This is a kicker. Um, CWR T67 dual 4 ohm. It's actually a pretty cool little speaker, but they're the only ones I know that make little tiny subs like this. So I'm gonna try to use the factory Bose box and see how it works out. If not, I mean you can seal it off, but I don't see it being a problem. I'm gonna try to get some measurements on there too, and you know that way you guys can see kind of the airspace of this thing. I think it's cool and I want to keep it. I'm eventually going to put 212 in the truck, so down the road. And I already got the box and all that stuff for it. So. This entire truck is sound matted too, so I just put Infinity 2 ohm speakers in there, which are kind of rare to find. Um, and they do a lot on the Bose amp, so I was actually pretty impressed. I figured if I could get the speaker that sounds like it's blown out to sound a lot better, I'll be pretty happy with this stock system for now. 
but my goal is to be low key and hidden and that would be the case here so this is a ported box as well it has some odd airspace stuff going on the only speakers i know that'll fit in there are basically some jls and they're very pricey so but i want the low key look and i know guys just slam studs in here all the time but that's how you get the performance out of it if you get the speaker in the right space Alright, so we got it out. Pretty cool little box. I was going to try to take it out and like get some measurements on it, but I don't even know if they'll be accurate because this is all blue molded plastic. But this air vent's going to be <laughs> in the way. I hope that doesn't cause too many issues. The crazy part is, is I don't really visually see anything wrong with this. So, nothing's torn or ripped. No, not seeing anything. But yeah, let's see what kind of homage it's got. You gotta switch it to homies right there. I don't like touching them together to see who, what it'll read. Zero. Oh, dang. So it's two ohms, just like the door speakers. So that's good. We need to have the right speaker. The next challenge is <laughs> figuring how to get it in this hole because it's a little bit bigger. So I got the dual four ohm so I can wire it in parallel. Should make it actually hit harder. <laughs> At least I hope so. Or it might sound like a complete turd. So hey. We'll figure it out but they're pretty pretty similar in size be a little bit of trim work yeah I just pried this little beauty ring off not trying to look pretty down here but Trying to squeeze in there. Seemed to help out a little bit. Definitely going to be some trimming. I'm just worried about this top edge, really. Hopefully it has something to seal up against. Yeah. That's my only concern. But i got this cool little speaker tester. Let's we'll see if we can get this speaker to make some weird noise. Because kind of dumbfounded now because it doesn't look bad. But it made a bunch of noise. So... I might have to run the original wire. Yeah, weird. <laughs> Don't see anything wrong with that sub. So, hopefully it's not just a silly rattle somewhere. But let's get it popping. Yo, I am dying watching this, but <laughs> watch my focus, you know, when I'm out here biting my lip and stuff. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs>
some epoxy on there but the speaker fits um it's a messy 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 job the rear door speakers was the same because they were like five inch speakers and i put six and a half in there so it is known to cause cancer in the state of california but only in california that's the cool part so if you don't move to california you won't get any cancer so yeah feel free to melt plastic at your house <laughs> You know what's cooler than safety glasses? Being able to see, so, stun vision Alrighty, all cleaned up. Let me get some of this epoxy on there. I'm all out, but start with this. We'll see if it works. I don't see this being super critical. Doesn't make me feel great, but this is also one of those cool jobs, only you're gonna see it. <laughs> So, thanks to the power of YouTube, everyone's going to see it. Just kidding. It's hard as a steel stick. <laughs> Alright, going to attempt plastic welding with a soldering iron. Nothing can go wrong here, so. <laughs> Wish me luck. This is how bad I don't want to drive to the store for epoxy. Yeah, it was a fail. I'm just going to have to go to the store and stop being lazy. Alright, quick trip to the store. Got me some plastic weld. And I added it on here. So, I don't know if you guys can see down there. Yeah. Put a little piece of tape to help hold everything in place. But... I think we're on the right track. It's definitely better than nothing. I don't want a hole there. I want the port to actually work properly. Hoping it sounds decent. Now I'm going to take this all back apart and seal that hole. And then go the sealed route, but... Nah. Let's do the port. So this is the diagram I'm going off of. If I figure it out how to add the picture on the video later, I definitely will. But that's how I'm taking the two four ohms and making this a two ohm speaker. It's basically put it in parallel, which should match the same power output of the Bose speaker over there. And inherently, to me, it should perform similar. Uh, this is a little bit bigger speaker and all that. It's a little bit better constructed. Um, it should be a better sound. Now, I have the actual airspace requirements for this in the manual, but I'm trying to use this factory box here. So, um, it's not perfect, but this is kind of one of those send it moments. And it might work out or it might be terrible, but it's at my expense, not yours. <laughs>
it off. Just put some Tessa tape on there. All right, one giant mess later. My GoPro keeps eating batteries, so. Just lowered the quality down, see if it'll stay alive. But this is the final product. I took that little protective ring off again, give me more clearance. And then I also drilled different holes that are closer to the factory location, just because you know how much hangover it's got. This is a six and a half or six and three quarter sub. The stock's supposed to be like six inch or six and a half or something like that. So, but it's wired in parallel. And the only thing left now is to see if it works or is a complete fail and no giant waste of time. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, I had to find some loyalty free music, but it actually sounds really good. So I wanted to give a little insight on, you know, the project in general. Uh, this is my dream truck. Uh, I know just looking at it from the video, you're not really going to know how far the builds come along. 
Um, so I added these photos in here to just kind of give the backstory uh, of this truck, how rough it was. Um, everyone was talking crap about it. Uh, if you don't know, the truck prices for these that are really nice is, uh, to me, it's very expensive between the extended cab and a crew cab. Uh, so, hey, I do what I normally do is I go find a rough one and I make it nice. And I normally save a bunch of money at the same time. So I only have about six grand in this truck with all the upgrades, new motor, transmission, going through the wiring. Um, and I'm sure it's worth a lot more than that. But this is one of my first videos and I'd uh, appreciate the support and the honesty, you know. Let me know in the comments if I can improve on anything or was I too elaborate on this video? Was I not elaborate enough? Um, I try to you know, do my best. This is a lot of learning on this video. And yeah, editing, totally underestimated that for YouTube. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Take care. Well, after further inspection, I did find something wrong with this head. So, this little plastic piece in the center is up and out, as you can see. All of that. So that was probably my, my noise. But, sounds way better. I think it hits a little harder. I mean, at the end of the day, it still is a six inch sub, so. We're not going to go knock walls down or nothing with that thing, but definitely an improvement if you're wanting, looking for something that's, you know, going to sound good, but it's not exactly a sub install, just upgrading what's already there. So I just didn't want to, I don't know, cut up everything and try to put an aftermarket amp in there if I could so basically salvage the Bose amp. Um, almost all my systems sound really, really good, and I've never had to put in an aftermarket amp for highs and all that stuff. But, yeah. This concludes my YouTube video. So, if the haters gonna hate, let them hate. But, yeah. It sounds good. And they said, throw it away. But, I'll link everything I have in my truck. Speaker baffles. Everything's 2 ohm, which is the challenge. If you can get 2 ohm, it actually sounds really good. I think it sounds better than a lot of people's aftermarket stuff. So, But it's actually not that expensive either. But yeah, take care. Peace.